This video demonstrates the Esteva Anesthesia Machine Checkout Procedure. To check the emergency ventilation equipment, you need to verify that backup ventilation equipment is available and functioning. To check the availability and function of the emergency oxygen supply, verify that oxygen is delivered when you open the auxiliary oxygen supply valve. In the Esteva machine, you will be able to deliver oxygen from the auxiliary oxygen supply as long as you have adequate oxygen pressure in the tank. Electric power is not necessary. Also verify that you have available a self-inflating AMBU bag that can be hooked up to the auxiliary oxygen supply. Next, you will check the high pressure system by testing the oxygen cylinder supply and the central pipeline oxygen supply. Start by turning the machine master switch to the on position and disconnect the oxygen hose from the central pipeline supply. Close the oxygen tank valve and push the oxygen flush valve to bleed oxygen from the system. At this point you should hear and see the low oxygen pressure alarm. Open the oxygen cylinder and verify that the oxygen cylinder pressure is at least 1000 PSI. Next, the failsafe valve is tested by dialing nitrous oxide and oxygen gas flows to approximately 5 liters per minute. You need a nitrous oxide supply from either the central pipeline or a tank. Then the oxygen tank is closed. As the oxygen pressure falls, you should observe that nitrous oxide flow turns off before losing all oxygen flow. When the oxygen pressure falls to zero, you should hear and see the no oxygen pressure alarm. Then set all gas flows to minimum and reconnect the central oxygen pipeline supply. Verify that the pipeline pressure gauge reads about 50 PSI. To check the low pressure system, you will perform a leak check. Set the system switch to on, calibrate flow sensors, Calibrate the oxygen monitor to room air and test the flow meters. Start by turning the system switch to standby and open all gas flow valves one and a half turns. Since the machine is in the standby mode, you will not get any gas flow. Disconnect the breathing circuit from the machine to have easier access to the common gas outlet. Locate the suction bulb in one of the machine drawers. Test the suction bulb by occluding the connector end with your finger and by verifying that the bulb remains deflated after you squeeze it. Then open the auxiliary common gas outlet switch by swinging the lever down. Attach the suction bulb to the common gas outlet and squeeze the bulb several times till it stays deflated. Verify that the bulb remains deflated for 10 seconds. Then check each vaporizer for a leak by opening a vaporizer, squeezing the bulb several times till it stays deflated, and verifying that the bulb remains deflated for 10 seconds. During those 10 seconds, check that the vaporizer interlock system works by trying to open the other vaporizers. Repeat the process for each vaporizer. Then close the auxiliary common gas outlet by lifting it up to its original position and remove the suction bulb from the common gas outlet. Turn the system switch on and verify that the machine display turns on. To calibrate the flow sensors, open the hatch under the flow sensor module. Remove it by pushing up on the tab under the module while pulling it straight out. The tab that releases the module is shown here. To flush excess water from the machine, Push the drain button below the flow sensor module while simultaneously pushing in the oxygen flush valve for 10 seconds. To calibrate the oxygen sensor to room air, locate the oxygen sensor below the flow sensor module and remove it by turning it counterclockwise. Let the oxygen sensor hang freely. Press the menu button in the system display unit. Scroll down and choose the setup slash calibrate option. Choose the oxygen sensor calibration option and then press start. Choose the 21% option followed by start cal. 
Once the calibration is complete, replace the oxygen sensor and close the hatch. To check the flow meters and verify smooth function, adjust the flows through their full range. If you first increase the nitrous oxide flow to maximum, you will see that oxygen flow increases. After you increase the oxygen flow to maximum, you can confirm the inability to make a hypoxic mixture by turning the oxygen flow off and observing a simultaneous reduction in the nitrous oxide flow. Turn the nitrous oxide flow valve off. Next, you will check the scavenging system. There are two types of scavenging systems. One is automatic and the other must be adjusted manually. If you are checking an automatic gas scavenging system, verify that the scavenge function indicator flow tube is in the green range. In the Esteva machine, the scavenge function indicator is located on the side of the machine next to the carbon dioxide absorbent canisters. Check that the scavenge function indicator flow tube is in the green range and that the carbon dioxide absorbent is ready and seated properly. In the manually controlled active passive scavenging system, the black needle valve should be opened by approximately one and one half turns, which should be sufficient to scavenge 10 to 15 liters per minute of fresh gas flow without causing the scavenging reservoir bag to overfill. The following systems need to be checked before the use of the machine on each patient. Automatic and manual ventilation systems, monitors, and the final status of the machine. You will reconnect the breathing circuit and a new HME filter to the machine and verify that the circuit is complete. Check the automatic and manual ventilation systems by testing the ventilation systems and unidirectional valves and performing a leak check of the breathing system. Start by setting the appropriate ventilator settings for the next patient. Then place the bag on the Y piece of the breathing circuit and activate the ventilator by turning the bag ventilator switch to the ventilator position. Push on the oxygen flush valve until the bag and the ventilator bellows are filled. While the gas flows are minimal, verify that an appropriate tidal volume is delivered. While ventilating the reservoir bag, check the function of the unidirectional valves. Also check that during expiration, the ventilator bellows fill completely and that the manometer works correctly. Then increase oxygen flow to 5 liters per minute and verify the absence of sustained breathing circuit pressure during continued ventilation of the reservoir bag. Move the reservoir bag from the Y piece to the bag arm and turn the ventilator selector switch to the bag position. Turn gas flow to minimum, close the APL valve and occlude the Y piece with a finger. Then pressurize the bag to 30 centimeters of water by pushing on the oxygen flush valve. Verify that the pressure remains at 30 centimeters of water for at least 10 seconds. Then open the APL valve and ensure that the breathing circuit pressure decreases. Next, you will prepare the monitors by setting the alarm limits. Select alarm settings from the menu. Set the high and low limits for oxygen, minute ventilation, and tidal volume. Last, you will check the final status of the machine. Verify that all flow meters are set to minimum flows and that all vaporizers are off. Check that vaporizer filler caps are closed and the vaporizers are filled. Confirm adequate suction and then clamp the suction tubing. Check that the breathing system is complete and ready for the next patient. Check that the ventilator switch is in the bag position and that the APL valve is open.